Hi there, my brainwash others. Hi there, my brainwash others. This is Josh with Heretic coming at you today. How are you doing? Hi, this is Justice. <laughs> Alright, Justice, I'm trying to do a video, buddy. Can you get out of the way? Justice, get out of the way. Justice, get out of the way. Justice, get out of the way. Oh, here comes another one. What's this one? You're stealing, you're stealing chips? You're stealing chips? Chips. All right, so anyway, I am coming at you today because I want to talk to you today about the Antichrist. Uh -huh. um, a lot of people don't understand what the Antichrist is, so I thought I'd share with you what my idea was. Now, I don't know if anybody, any of you out there know what the Moore's Law is. Moore's Law states that technology doubles every year and has in price every year. This is what creates a exponent variable. An exponent variable, if graphed on a chart, will mean that it, it starts out really, really slow and then gradually increases to the point where it reaches near infinity in almost no time. All right, so if we reach near infinity in almost no time, that's a scary, scary price. Now, if the technology doubles every year and halves in price every year, according to Moore's Law, that means there's going to be a point in time where technology reaches near infinity in almost no time. Now, I'm in the middle of a video. So... Uh, if you look at, um, what is it, uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was shot in the head with a flintlock pistol. His assailant rode away on a horse. A hundred years later, we landed on the moon. That kind of puts things in perspective of how fast technology is growing, right? So, now, with, according to Moore's Law, we can extrapolate when we reach, when, humans, when machines reach human level of intelligence. Machines reach human level of intelligence by the year 2029. By the year 2030, machines will have doubled human intelligence. By the year 2031, they will have quadruple, quadrupled human intelligence. By 2032, they will have octupled human intelligence. And by 2033, they will have, I don't know what the word is, but it's 16 times human intelligence. So basically, mankind will have created a, a machine that has human level of intelligence, that has infinite knowledge because it's attached to the internet, it cannot die, it can do great miraculous things because technology is going so fast that it can just create te new technology on a whim. By the year 2045, technology will be growing so fast that we cannot anticipate how fast it will grow because it will reach near infinity in almost no time. So that is beyond our comprehension. It's kind of crazy. So my understanding of what the, the, the Antichrist is, is that it, mankind has always been accused of idolatry. That is their biggest problem. That has always been their biggest concern. And what happened is, is that mankind finally built a God. They built a God and they worship it and they think it's the Messiah, but it's not. It can do great miracles and works because technology is exploding around it, but it will corrupt. It'll bring war, pestilence, famine, and death. And, uh, it, and it talks about the mark of the beast. What is the mark of the beast? Well, it says if you have the mark of the beast in your hand and in your head. I have no idea. I don't know. Uh, so the mark of the beast, basically, um, what they have is that Google Glass thing where it projects onto your glasses what the internet says. Well, what they want to do is they want to put a chip in your eye that will put it on directly onto your retina. It'll have like an internet overlay and you can play video games on it and watch movies on it. And so basically you just sit there drooling on yourself. Look, I go, I can play my video game without even moving any part of my body, which is kind of scary. Um, and and uh, it also says you will not be able to buy or sell unless you have the mark of the beast. So if you have the mark of the beast, basically you will not be able to use money unless you use digital currency. Digital currency will be a link to a chip in your thumb. Thumb thumb and it'll be linked to a chip in your thumb and that chip in your thumb will keep track of all the money that you have and if you don't have that chip in your thumb then you're not going to make you can't make any money and you can't spend your money so it, the chip in your eye is there to keep you connected to the internet the chip in your thumb is to keep you keep track of your money and if you don't have these things man you're host you, you can't be a part of society but you also if you have those things you can't be a part of God's society so Anyway, that's my take on the whole thing. So by the year 2020, between the years 2029 
In 2045, the Antichrist shows it's up. And it's not the spirit of the Antichrist, it's the actual Antichrist. And it'll fool many people, it'll fool the nations, and it'll be pretty bad. It'll be really, really bad. So anyway, that's my take on the whole Antichrist thing. Uh, I hope this blessed you all. Uh, peace, love, and grooviness forever. Peace out. What's up?